What's going on, you guys? CJ Hawk 85 Gamer here, and today I'm going to be playing the Thanksgiving game between the Philadelphia Eagles and the Detroit Lions. But before I do that, I wanted to look at some of the records I was saying on the last episode. Um, I was looking at some of the stats in this game. Look at Sam Bradford, 1,413 passing yards of the season. DeMarco Murray, this is what I was looking for, 1,265 yards. And I wanted to go to the NFL records. And um, I'm sure that we're not going to break Peyton Manning's record or anything like that, the passing yards in one season, or anybody else's records. All right, this is what I was looking at. This is the goal that I'm going to break. Eric Dickerson's record, 2,105 yards, and we're less than 1,000 yards away of breaking Eric Dickerson's one-season record. So we're going to try to keep up with it. So now, not only we can break a record off of Eric Dickerson, but we also can grow the streak. So here we go. And we wouldn't win the next, what? We got like five games left after this game? Something like that. Alright, so here we go. Kickoff. Lions would win the toss and elect to receive. And it would be returned by Ross. And he would be stopped at the 19-yard line. Okay. It looks like Matthew Stafford is not going to play as quarterback. I guess he got hurt. Dan Ovalorski. I'm just going to call him Dan. So, here we go. First 10, Dan Hanson fakes a handoff, and oh, he gets sacked. Like, come on. You think a backup quarterback's going to beat us? Forget it. So what's Dan going to do now? He would hand it off to Bell, and he would be shut down and loses a couple yards. So it'll be third and 20. Ooh, what are they going to do? What will Dan do? He'll be in the shotgun. He'll throw a Hail Mary. And it was overthrown. And the Detroit Lions would be forced to punt. Man, it sucks they don't have Matthew Stafford playing in this game. So it'll be returned by DeMarco Murray. So he'll be in the 45 and the 50. And he would be stopped at the 46-yard line. So the Eagles have possession. So first to 10, we would hand it off to DeMarco Murray. Trying to add some more yardage for the season. And our goal, not only to remain undefeated, but to break Eric Dickerson's rushing yard record. He will get a first down. Marco Murray. Really doing pretty good this season. Sam Bradford in the shotgun. And he would pass it to Jordan Math. No, it was uh, Riley Cooper. My bad. My bad. Riley Cooper would catch the ball for a first down. And we would hand it off to Darren Sproles. And he would gain a couple yards, like four. And it would be second and six. Darren Sproles has the ball again. And we only gain like eight yards. So it would be third and three. Bradford in the shotgun. And he would pass it to Riley Cooper. And that would be enough for a first down. It will be first and goal at the two-yard line. And Sam Bradford, what would he do next? He would hand it off to DeMarco Murray, and he would get another touchdown for the season. Wait. Yeah. DeMarco Murray. He wants to break Eric Dickerson's record. I can tell you that right now. He would like to break that record. And we would kick it right through the uprights, and it would be good. So it would be 7-0 Eagles. And here we go with the kickoff. And Darius Slay would kneel it down and would not take any chances. We're going to play this one safe, which I don't blame him. So Dan, what is he going to do? 
he would hand it off to Bell. He only gains a couple yards. So it'll be second and eight. Bell will get the handoff. But this time, he would get shut down and loses a couple yards. So it'll be third and 13. What would Dan do next? Oh, he's running around and oh, he went nowhere but down. Fourth and 26. The Eagles defense really putting Dan under the pressure in this game. So the Detroit Lions would be forced to punt. We would kick it off to the Marco Murray. Oh, he fumbled the ball. Oh, that's not good. Oh, we got lucky. Oh, man. That would have been bad on us. We would have looked like a bunch of fools. Man, we got lucky. All right, so we hand off to DeMarco Murray. And he would gain 11 yards, and that would be enough for a first down. Four, four rushes so far in this game. And getting some more yardage for DeMarco Murray. Look at this. Oh. He was be stopped at the 38-yard line, and that would be enough for a first down. I'm telling you, man, you could break Eric Dickerson's record. So Sam Bradford in the shotgun. Oh, my God. Jordan Matthews did not see the ball. That should have been catchable. So we would hand off to Darren Sproles, and he would gain three yards. It would be third and seven. Not bad by Darren Sproles. So it'll be third and seven at the 35 yard line. Bradford in the shotgun. And he would pass it to Miles Austin, and that'd be enough for a touchdown. And it would be 13 to nothing. Philadelphia Eagles. Right now, they are on a monster roll. Miles Austin caught that ball, and that was academic. So the point after the attempt, the PAT, it would be 14 nothing Eagles. Eagles right now are really, really beating the shit out of the Detroit Lions. It will be returned by... Ross running to the 10, the 15, the 20, 25, and oh, he gets stopped at the 24-yard line. So, it'll be first and 10 at the 24-yard line. What will Dan do next? He hand off the bell, and he gets stopped. Oh, my God. He's, like, going nowhere. He is going nowhere. He ain't going nowhere. No. Bell now. Oh, stopped again. No gain. No gain, no pain. Something like that. So it'll be third and 12. Dan now. What's he going to do next? Goes to the shotgun. Not going for the running game, but he would. Oh, it'll be picked off. And there's a flag on the play, but would it be given back to the Lions? Oh, it's against Detroit, so the Eagles would get the ball back after all. It was a holding penalty against Detroit. So the Eagles would still get the ball. The interception counts, and the Eagles will have the ball again. We hand off to Marco Murray for like six yard gain on the pit play. So it'll be second and four. Uh, we're getting closer to the two minute warning. DeMarco Murray Lewis, we make it so easy. All too easy to get a first down. Okay, first and ten. DeMarco Murray really kicking some serious ass. We hand off to DeMarco Murray again. Look at this. Oh! <laughs> He'd be stopped at the five-yard line. First and goal at the five-yard line. Hand off to DeMarco Murray again, and we would make it simple. It's a touchdown for the Philadelphia Eagles. DeMarco Murray with another touchdown. Man, oh man, we're getting closer and closer as the days and weeks go by. 
we're going to get closer and closer to Eric Dickerson's record. We want to break 2,105 yards. That's our goal. And also, our major goal is to keep the streak and the winning streak alive. We would love to have a perfect season. Could it happen? We'll see. So now Ross is going to try to attempt to get a lot of yardage, which he only got 20 of it. So we'll be first and 10 at the Detroit 20-yard line. They have not been at midfield yet throughout the first half of this game at all. So Dan, you would try to pass it to Eric Ebron, but unfortunately, it was just out of bounds. Probably he's under pressure. How I would be if I'm just a rookie quarterback replacing Matthew Stafford for this game. Passes it to, I think, either Calvin Johnson or Brandon Pittsgrew, Pittsgrew, something like that. I don't know. So here we go. 39, and look at this. Oh, it is picked off, and the Eagles will get the ball again. After another pickoff, the Eagles would get full control of the ball again. Oh, what a bad break for the Detroit Lions. They can't even get into midfield or on Eagles territory. So the Marco Murray with the run only gained one yard. Well, gained three yards. My bad. Second and seven. What are we going to do next? We would pass it. Riley Cooper! Oh! Just couldn't get it. Incomplete. Third and seven. At the 48-yard line. Sam Bradford, what are you going to do? Go for a pass. And we would pass it to Miles Austin, and it would be enough for a first down. Not bad. Not bad at all. Just had to know who uh, caught that ball. We hand it off to Darren Sproles. But, oh, wasn't going anywhere. But that's okay. That's fine. We will call one more timeout. And we will call one timeout, basically. And the reason why is because I want to kick a field goal to take three points heading towards halftime. So the field goal is good. Unfortunately, for some reason, there's two seconds left on the clock. So apparently, we're going to kick it off to the Detroit Lions again. The, this play really doesn't mean anything. This really means nothing. Because the Eagles are going to get the ball back. So Slay with the run. And now... We get the ball back. So here we go. Looks like Nelson Aguilar with the return. The 20, 25. He would be stopped at the 29-yard line. So here we go. More DeMarco Murray. He's super beast. And he would be stopped at the 33-yard line. And we only gained four yards. And it would be second and six. And off again to the Marco Murray. And it looked like... Did he get a first down? Yes, he did. He got a first down. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Just making sure that the Marco Murray was okay. Um, okay, here we go. We pass it off to Jordan Matthews. And it would be a touchdown. Oh, In real life, the Detroit Lions fans will be saying, Oh, my God. We've wasted a lot of money. Watching this game. This is the money we pay to see this. They should ought to be leaving right now, the Lions fans. They should be leaving right now. Because look at the score. It's 30 to nothing. And it's going to be 31 to nothing, just like that. You might as well just leave. Bye. Goodbye. 31 to nothing. What happened to the Lions? So, 
I think Ross was trying to return this, but went to the 20-yard line. So here we go, first and 10. Hand off the bell, and as usual, gets shut down. Second 11. Hands off the bell again. Denied. Third and 10. Man, oh man. What's he going to do? Oh, he would pass it to Golden Tate. But not even close of getting the first down at all. So they'll be three and out again. They only gained one yard, so he'll be forced to punt yet again. So DeMarco Murray with the return. 35-40. 45, and we'll be stopped at the 48-yard line. So here we go, first and 10. Sam Bradford, a handoff to DeMarco Murray. Oh, you get stopped at the 49 yard line with one for a couple yards. I thought we lost a yard or something, but no, we did pretty good. We we're alright. Alright. Oh, man. Marco Murray ain't going nowhere. They're shutting us down. The Lions are trying to do something. They're trying to stop the Eagles from scoring over and over again. That's what's going on. And it looked like it was attended to Jordan Matthews. But unfortunately, we would be forced to three and out. So we would be forced to punt at the 48-yard line. And it would be a touchback. So the Detroit Lions would get the ball back and try to get something going. Bell. Goes nowhere, but down. Second and 14. Man, things are not looking good for the Lions at all. It just gets worse. Bell trying to make something happen. Only gains a couple yards. So it'll be third and nine at the 21 yard line. Dan would pass it to Eric Ebron. And that would be enough for the first down. And they're trying to move the chains and try to score their first touchdown of this game to avoid a blowout. Second and ten. Dan now would pass it to Eric Ebron and uh, only gain a couple yards. So it'll be third and four. And then the shotgun, and he would pass it to Eric Ebron again, and he would get enough for a first down. I guess Eric Ebron is trying to step up to try to avoid a blowout. They're in midfield. They're trying to get into the Eagles' uh, zone. They haven't been in the red zone at all. Eric Ebron with the catch. Only gained a couple yards. Seven yards on that one. So it would be second and three. At the 46-yard line, Dan, with a pass, and what was that? What kind of a, a jump was that? That was weird. So, third and three at the 46-yard line. So, Dan in the shotgun, and all oh, overthrown. It was overthrown. It was attended by Bell. But unfortunately, he got nothing. So, the Detroit Lions would force the punt. It would be kicked to the out of bounds. Oh, I was going to say in the end zone, but it was out of bounds. So now the Eagles have the ball. DeMarco Murray gained some more yards. He got 10. It would be first and 10. Marco Murray getting closer and closer to that Eric Dickerson record. But it's going to take a few weeks. To let that happen. Marco Murray again with a run. Look at this. Oh, man. We got a penalty. And it looks like who's it going to be against? Personal foul face mask. Against Detroit. Again. It just gets worse for Detroit. 
you can tell that the Lions have gotten frustrated. You can tell. And the Mark Murray gained several yards, so it'll be second and one. He gained nine yards. Bradford handing off to Darren Sproles, but he gets denied. So it'll be third and five at the 49 yard line. So what will Sam Bradford do on third and five? He would go in the shotgun and he would pass it to Riley Cooper and that would be enough for a first down. Uh, Alright, so Sam Bradford would hand it off to Marco Murray again. Look at this! Oh, man. Doing really good. Nine yards in that gain on that run drive. We stop at the 26 yard line, but that'd be enough for a first down for the Philadelphia Eagles. So, first and 10. I'm completely speechless that we're really beating and dominating the Detroit Lions. The Lions are just. Oh my god. They're terrible in this game against us. I'm just speechless. So, here we go. We were handed off to DeMarco Murray, but. He only gained two yards. We want to score one more time. Marco Murray gets the ball again, but gets denied. So we third and goal. Will we be able to get a touchdown, or do we have to settle for a field goal to ice the game? So we hand it off to Darren Sproles, and that would be enough for a touchdown. Pretty damn easy. The Eagles up 37 to nothing. This is a beatdown. A Thanksgiving beatdown, as I'm going to call it. This is what it is, folks. A Thanksgiving beatdown at Ford Field in Detroit. 38 to nothing. Man, oh man. In real life, the Lions fans would have left the building. They would have left the building. So, if any games that go like that, 38 to nothing, they should add the fans, like, getting out of the building right now. Look at this pass. Oh, almost picked off. Ten seconds left. So, they're going to have to do something. Dan's going to have to do something desperate. Hail Mary. Uh, and that meant nothing. Third and ten. They got five seconds left. But seriously though, I'm going to be real honest. This last play don't really mean anything. So, they tried desperately to get at least one more good play. And it looked like it was an incomplete pass. So the coach can't believe it, but he better believe. Because the Philadelphia Eagles remain undefeated and beat down the Detroit Lions 38 to nothing. 38 to nothing. And we would be 11 and 0. Folks, who's going to stop us? Who is going to beat us? Sadly, Matthew Stafford was not playing in this game. But man, oh man. What a beatdown the Eagles suffered. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to like, subscribe, favorite, and our next game. We're going to Foxborough. And two things are going to happen. Are we going to beat the Patriots? Or are we going to Foxborough to get our asses handed by... Tom, Mr. Perfect Brady, I like to call him. Or terrific Tom Brady, some people call him, but you know, whatever. Anyways, yeah, we're going to be put to the test in our next game against the Patriots. Stay tuned next.